Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Sane Logic brand, their wireless weather station with outdoor sensors, weather forecast, temperature, air pressure, humidity, wind gauge, rain gauge, moon phase, and alarm clock. This is the WS-0835. I have it temporarily just mounted on a piece of bamboo so we can look at the features. You can see to the left right there, that's the included AC to DC adapter that goes right, plugs it right in the back of the unit and allows you to have this display full on and just plugs right in into the side right there. Then there's the option, you can put batteries in here. I've got AAA batteries in there, that's what it takes. And that way you, it'll retain the uh, clock function and all the settings. I went through and I set the uh, proper date and the time by using the set button right there you hold it down and then you could go in advance using these buttons up on there pretty easy to do and then the batteries will retain that now this is active right now because I did put batteries in the unit right here the instructions do tell you how to do this it's really simple there's a quick uh, connection sheet and then extensive directions how to use the actual unit on the bottom of there is a screw you undo and you put in three AA batteries and it starts transmitting and on the bottom of the unit there is a little indicator let's just move this aside right here right over here there is a reset button and that button also blinks when you first put the batteries in and you can see the little red light blinking occasionally and what that's saying is that it's transmitting data to the unit now if you put batteries in there and that doesn't blink just hold that reset button down for a couple seconds and it'll engage it here's the screw you remove and there's your three AA batteries in there very simple now when I first put batteries in there took a couple minutes and then it started to collect the actual data. You can also hold on the channel button right there and that will allow it to seek. You'll see this antenna symbol right there and it will get the data. So right now you can see it's showing the wind direction. There's no wind speed because I'm not rotating it but it has barometric pressure, it's got the rain gauge, humidity percentages and temperatures. So just to test the calibration of the unit, you'll notice that I have this pointed parallel and it's actually pointing right to the rod right there. And that is the north and south position. So if the wind was coming in this way, like this, that's where that vane would point to. And that would mean the wind's coming in from the north. So if you look at the display right there, you can see that it has north. So if I were to swing this 180 degrees and have the wind coming in the other direction, let's see what it does with the data. So now I switched it and you can see it went to south. You're going to use that to calibrate it so that you have it pointed basically using GPS or your known location and that way you can calibrate the north and south quite easily. Now the other things you could test right here before we install something like this is we could rotate the wind speed you can just start rotating that and let's see when it sends data and if you look at the unit from spinning that it shows me the speed 8.9 miles an hour an average of 4.3 miles per hour so that's telling you the speed of the wind now you see it slowly dropping down because it's not spinning anymore it's very sensitive, it'll pick up wind, it's, it's very accurate also, and it'll drop down to a low number when it's not spinning. And you can see it also has this cool display that uh, has forecast on the top there. All the information you're ever going to need, the date, the time, and the moon phase. If you hit this button right here, you could change 
the brightness. You can dim it down like that or keep it full brightness. It's up to you. Now, if you want to test the rain gauge before you install it, you could tip the unit. You hear that click? Every one of those clicks represents a tenth of an inch, I believe. So let's see if the display measured that rainfall. And you can see right there, it has 0.2 of an inch or 0.11 of an inch. So that's telling you that is measuring rainfall. That's the simple test you can do before you actually install it. Now there is a solar panel that is on the front of this unit right here and that doesn't charge the battery that solar panel was used as part of the data and it's used to sense uh, sunrise and sunset and other parameters in the software but it won't charge the battery so don't use rechargeable batteries now this rain gauge is simple to clean you just rotate it counterclockwise and it comes off just like that in case you get leaves and debris in there but it'll take a lot to clog it up the mount itself is very simple plugs in there and also on the bottom and there are screws stand still small screws right there that you put right through there on the top and right on the bottom right there then they have long screws stainless steel that you could mount this using this piece right here and mount it on a pole because generally you want to put this you know three or four times higher than the highest point like if you have a roof line that's 15 feet you want to go 15 30 45 you want to try and get this away from obstructions so that it's standalone by itself so that it gets accurate readings so it's very simple you have a choice i'm mounting it like this you can mount it on top of a roof flat like that and just calibrate the north and south or you can use the attachment and those included screws and then you could mount it vertically on a pole and then also notice that there is an opening here in case you want to put it in that way and then you can mount it on a vertical wall that's standing like that and have the unit there do that now there are sensors all throughout this device inside here they're all protected from rain this is rainproof and hailproof which is really nice and there's various sensors in there and they do recommend that you use uh, high quality batteries for the winter time i think they mentioned lithium batteries uh, uh, so that way you could uh, not worry about the voltage dropping on it on the top of this unit right over there you can see there is a little bubble level and that's really nice it helps you keep this level when you install it you want to keep it level because these bushings on here are precision and you want to make sure that they are parallel to the earth and the rain gauge is parallel to the earth so that you get accurate readings now the included manual is very nicely written and it has a whole section on how to set all the time and how to calibrate things and it's uh, really nicely written with a really large font on there. So you could follow that and get everything set up and calibrated probably within about 45 minutes. And uh, you know, the key thing is to find the location that you can put this so that it's not being obstructed by anything. And that's what you want. So another cool thing it has is it has alarm modes. You can set up alarms for abnormal weather and high and low settings. The following alarms are included. You've got alarm one, alarm two, you got wind gusts and average, outdoor temperature and humidity, outdoor feels like temperature and outdoor dew point, hourly rainfall and 24 hour rainfall, absolute pressure, relative pressure, indoor temperature and indoor humidity. That's a lot of different things that could do. Basically, it's like you just know what's going on in your house and outside. You don't have to worry about going to a website anymore. This is really accurate. It's gonna be reading things right in your house, your house, your yard, your barn, whatever property you're going to use this in, you're going to get that accuracy. So I'm impressed with the quality of this. Everything uh, is high quality. 
It looks durable, it looks very waterproof, and it powered up and started showing me data instantaneously. I tested the sensors and I'm going to find a place to mount it and be able to see all the temperatures and pressures and wind and rain right near my house. So that's really cool. So what do I think about the same logic brand, this WS-0835, this wireless weather station without their sensors. Very cool product. I think you'll be impressed. It seems to work really well, seems to be accurate and looking forward to installing it and having the ability to look at all these different parameters of weather in, near my house. And also speaking of near the house, the range of this transmitter right here will go up to 300 feet away. And you don't, you want, don't want to put this on a metal roof or where it's near metal or antennas, it'll affect the range. But the range of this will go 300 feet away, transmitting to this unit right here. And that's a nice long distance that you could be away from it. So this is a cool product. I'm going to give it a full five star rating. Please remember to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you learn to do video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. There'll be ordering links in the information and comment section. Please use those links to help order. Please use those links to order this product to help support this channel. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.